Hello and welcome back to Artvark Games and DCS. Today we are going for a redemption flight in the F-15 Sea Eagle. We're going to see if we can soar with the Eagle today instead of crashing. Well, we brought it down, but we we kind of busted it up on the... Uh, on the last go so we have um i've been spending a lot of time um flying the a10 not a lot of time probably 10 or 12 flight hours or something maybe 10 but um so i've been learning the weapon systems in the a10 and um at least you know we can drop bombs and all that stuff trying to going to start learning um, air to air stuff so I figure this will be coming after that um, as soon as we can figure out how to uh, set up some air targets and shoot them down with the A-10 then um, I figure because that's a real simple system then we will move to the F-15 and start learning the weapon systems on this thing we um, did go ahead and turn up our graphics settings, as you can tell. Um, it actually has helped a lot with um, reading gauges and stuff like that. I didn't really realize that um, the game came set on low settings, which ooh, I didn't really realize as we had been playing before, but we since figured that out. So. We did bump up the graphic settings. Might bump it up again. Being everything seems to be cruising along just fine. So who knows? Still trying to figure out tons of stuff with this game or simulator, if you will. A lot to figure out on this one. Have finally figured out how to be like decent at dropping some bombs in the A-10. Still not what I would consider to be proficient, but um, having a lot of fun doing it anyway. That's for sure. Just haven't had a ton of seat time lately, but hopefully we'll have a little more of that coming up here. Creep across, jeez, creep. Alright. Springfield 1-1, one, one. Clear for takeoff. Springfield 1-1, one, one. that's us. Springfield 1-1, one, one. you are cleared for takeoff already. Climb 300 at QFE 29.67. Okay, copy that. So, mill power there and then flaps are supposed to be automatic from my understanding in this thing hopefully we can get it off the ground without blowing out tires Ooh. There we go. Well, we are up and off the ground. So that's a positive. This thing is um, a lot more nimble than the A-10. Or I would, you know, from what I can tell anyway. Not that I've flown this one a heck of a lot. And we sure aren't going to go mess with any of the ground targets. Though you would think you can shoot the gun. Oh. So we could shoot the gun at some targets. That's about it though.
Ooh. All right, turn the can off. I just want to see if I can actually get a successful landing in this thing. We still haven't done that. That's the first time we fired the gun. All right, so now we can start scrubbing speed. Let's see. Let's not get up too high here. Try to do something decent here. this in the A-10 because we're comfortable with that. Should have probably run this out a bit further. Alright, slow down. Slow down, plane. We landed a little fast, I think, but I think we got it gentle enough. Not that we're in the middle of the runway. But we are going to call that one a success, I think. Slap that bad boy down. Finally, I think we got a decent landing in the... Uh... Yep, everything's still up. There we go. Sweet, so we can call that one a winner. At least now we can land the F-15. So a little bit of flight practice and it's been paying off. And I think we will turn around and call that one a success. And look forward to bigger, brighter things. Copy that on the next one. So thanks for tuning in. Remember, if you get a chance, like, share, subscribe. Subscriptions are free, but they sure do help the channel. Y'all have a great day, and we will catch you on the next one.